I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited to have you here with me today for the start of my new hair growth journey. One of the things I've noticed as I've gotten older is that my hair gets thinner and thinner and also it is just not as healthy down here. Now I do use the iRestore hair helmet. This isn't sponsored by them by the way. I do use the hair helmet and I think it does help keep everything a little thicker up here but unfortunately, as we get older, our hair usually gets older too. I, I guess that's kind of obvious. It gets older and it also gets thinner and thinner and drier and drier. And so what I am doing is I am going to be embarking on a hair growth journey. I started it about a week ago and I wanted to share it with you so that you can follow along with me and see if I am able to get younger looking, healthier, thicker hair on the ends. And my stylist has always said, I've always wanted this part to grow out longer. And she's always said, well, as people get older, you know, that's very hard. And usually that is shorter than the rest of the hair. And I have come to believe that the reason that that is the case is because we're not taking care of our hair appropriately or correctly. And there is a wonderful YouTuber who is a stylist, a salon owner in Miami called The Blowout Professor. And I've been watching his videos and I'll link some of them below for you. But he is convinced that the best way to grow longer, healthier, younger looking hair is through taking care of it correctly, which after watching his videos, I'm not sure I have been doing that. In fact, I'm pretty sure I have not been doing that. But before I get into that, I did just want to show you a brief video of where Alan and I are on the remodel of our home. For those of you who have followed my channel, you know that for the past two or three months, we have been living in the basement as the top floor of our new house gets remodeled. And it is taking a long time, which is not too much fun. Okay, this is a kind of an interesting piece of the video because it's where I explain where we are in the house right now. And Alan and I moved in here May 5th, June 5th, July 5th, Ooh, August 5th, it'll be three months that we've lived here. And as you can see, we are still in the throes. Definitely. We had an issue about three weeks ago. The painter was supposed to start and unfortunately the wood flooring people, and we do have wood floors down now. You can't see them because the painter has masked off, but the wood floor person didn't put the quarter round down and the painter said, you know, I'm spraying the trim. So I need to have the quarter round down and the flooring guy couldn't get here for two more weeks. And in the meantime, the painter had a flood in one of his painting jobs. So we had to start that one again. So supposedly, starting Monday, he's going to come to my house and totally spend the next three weeks at my house painting all the trim and all the walls. I don't know, you can see. Okay, as soon as the painters are done, hopefully in three weeks to four weeks, supposedly they're coming back Monday and they're going to be working full time on my house. I will believe it when I see it, but I sure hope that's the case. But once the walls and the trim are painted, the cabinets are painted, then I will share that information with you. But let's get back into the point of this video, and that is how to grow longer, healthier hair regardless of your age. And according to the Blowout Professor, he has tested hundreds of products, and he has found the best ones to help us have younger, healthier hair. And the most important products, he believes, are shampoos and conditioners, and he has literally tested hundreds of them. And if you go to his channel, it's amazing, like he tests his heat protectants basically by spraying a piece of bread and putting it in the toaster. And you can tell if the toast gets brown that the heat protectant really isn't working, which is a pretty good way to figure that out, I would think. But he swears by this Redken Volume Injection Shampoo and Conditioner. And I started using this about a week ago and I really like both of these. And he says basically in terms of the shampoo, the correct way to shampoo is to put some in your hand and put it on the back of your hair right here because that's where most of the oil comes from and then really use the pads of your fingers to scruffle that in really well and then to scruffle this area in but then you take the remaining shampoo, the bubbles and whatever and you just kind of bring it gently down through your hair but you don't scruffle it into the ends because the ends are drier. The only place that oil is produced on your hair is actually at the crown or at the scalp and so you don't want to get rid of those natural oils, especially as we age. Okay, once you have shampooed your hair and gotten the soap out, you do need to apply the Redken Volume Injection Conditioner. 
And he says to leave this on for two to three minutes as you're doing other things in the shower. That's pretty easy to take care of in that way. Then you get out of the shower and he likes you to use a microfiber towel. I couldn't find one in my messy house today or this past week. I just used a normal towel, but he says do not scruffle it around if you're using a normal towel. Or even if you're using a microfiber towel, just go ahead and do it very gently. And then he says the first thing you do after you dry your hair with a towel is you spray it with a leave-in conditioner. And he swears by this Pureology Professional Color Care Color Fanatic Multitasking Leave-In Spray. And you give this a good spray all around your hair. And then he says if you want more body to go in with this Redken Big Blowout Heat Protecting Blowout Jelly. And this does seem to increase the look of volume in one's hair while not removing shine, which I really do appreciate that. And then you go ahead and blow dry your hair and he says don't get it to where it's crunchy. Just stop the blow drying once your hair is dry. Don't go further than that. And then he says before you go in with any heat styling tools that you do need to use a thermal protective spray. And he says a lot of products on the market say they are, but they really aren't. And he's actually tested them. As I mentioned, he tested them in a toaster by testing whether or not the thermal protective spray kept the toast from browning. It was an amazing test. And he swears by two different products. The first is the Redken 22 High Hold Thermal Spray. He says if you're a beginner at thermal sprays, this is the one to use. And I got that one. But he says if you're a little more adept at it, and I don't know that I'm more adept at it, but he says if you want, you can use the Kenra Thermal Styling Spray 19 instead, and it does say firm hold. And he says the advantage to this Kenra Thermal Styling Spray over the Redken is that this one actually causes your style to stay in your hair for several more days. And he says it's very important between shampoos, maybe every three or four days, that you don't reheat style your hair because you're just continually frying your hair. And that's going to be a little tough for me to go through three or four days between shampoos not using the heat styling tools. It'll be interesting to see how that works out. And let me know in the comment section if you'd like me to do about a video a month and show you my hair growth journey because I'm really hoping that through using these products I can make my hair even healthier than it is and quite honestly, it is not that healthy. It, it has been very dry and crunchy feeling, I have to admit. And one thing I did do is that instead of using the flat iron as I was doing pretty much every day, I have started using a heated brush because this I can use at about a 350 degree temperature versus the flat irons, which are 400 and even higher. So this is a lot more gentle on one's hair. And also, I absolutely love the blow dryer I have been using, and I've been using this for about the past two years. This is the Zuvi blow dryer, and I'll link a video below which explains more about it, but it doesn't dry your hair with heat. It actually dries your hair with colored light. It's a very interesting process, and I think I have noticed that my hair does look a little better and it seems to be in a little better condition since I've been using the Zuvi. And for those of you who've been wondering about this large band-aid I have on my wrist, let's just say it was a tretinoin experiment and I'm still working on it because one of the big things I've always wanted to learn is how to keep all of us from getting that super thin aging skin as we get to 70, 80, and 90. My parents and my mother-in-law all suffer from huge black bruises and they have tears in their skin. So I have been experimenting using tretinoin on my arms, but I have to say I went in the hospital for kind of a routine procedure. They gave me an IV and then they ripped off the tape after I'd had the IV on overnight. And unfortunately it took a little bit of skin with it but I've been using Vaseline and I'm sure that will probably work out just fine. If you'd like to follow along with me on my how to get thicker arm skin journey, then please let me know in the comment section because I would love to share that with you. Well, thank you for being with me in this video and I look forward to seeing you in my next one.